Is it a good time to sell your house or should you wait until next year? I wanna share a specific strategy with you that will allow you to get the highest price when you sell, but also lock in a lower mortgage payment when you buy. This strategy gives you the best of both worlds. And I'll admit this video is a little long, but I wanted it to be as informative as possible. By the way, I'm a licensed realtor here in Central Texas. Even if you choose not to work with me and then work with another realtor, here's my honest advice for 2023. All right, let's get started. This might surprise a lot of people, but based on recent sales data, here's the truth about selling your home in 2023. I've narrowed it down to three things you need to know before listing your home for sale. And I'll be honest, the first is bad news, but the second two are really good news. I'll start with the bad news, but keep watching all the way to the end of this video because points number two and number three are actually good news. Number one, the bad news is that interest rates are really stinking high. There are three dates you, you need to keep in mind if you're thinking of selling your house this year. September 19th through the 20th, October 31st through November 1st, and December 12th through the 13th. These are the official dates that the Federal Reserve is meeting to discuss either raising or lowering interest rates. Now, I don't have a crystal ball, but it's safe to say rates will remain high for at least the next six months. This is actually an opportunity and here's why. Normally people think about low interest rates as being great for buyers, not sellers, because it makes the monthly mortgage payments cheaper. But this also affects sellers because when buyers have access to cheaper money, they're willing to pay a higher price for a home. This in a nutshell is what happened in 2021. Obviously, this is a great thing for sellers too. The problem with the higher rates right now is that when rates were so low during 2021, many people refinance at record low mortgage rates. In fact, almost 85% of homeowners have a mortgage rate that's far below the current rates. They're not super excited about moving if they have to give up a 3% mortgage rate for a 7% mortgage. Duh! This is more than anything what's keeping inventory really low. For buyers wanting to buy in Central Texas right now, there's just not enough homes to look at. But this is true everywhere else, not just here in Central Texas. The National Association of Realtors reported there were just 1.08 million homes for sale last month compared with 1.92 million during the same month in 2019. So in other words, there used to be almost twice as many homes for sale as there are right now. If it feels like there aren't many homes on the market, it's because there aren't. It's because of interest rates. So if you wanna sell, you'll still get a great price for your home right now. Home prices are still high here in Central Texas and they'll stay that way for the next five to 10 years. And I'll explain in a minute. Which leads me to point number two, and it's actually really good news. The second thing you need to know, which is good news, is that home prices are expected to remain stable and probably even increase over the next several years. There's no crash coming. This is good news because it means you don't need to stress out about waiting and trying to time the market. One of the biggest mistakes I see buyers making here is they want to wait until home prices come down or wait until interest rates come down. Waiting is not a good strategy. As the old saying goes, don't wait to buy real estate, Buy real estate and wait. This is especially true in 2023 because one simple word, demographics. The largest generation in American history, millennials, are reaching peak home buying age this year. And this ensures there'll be strong, consistent demand for homes for at least the next five to 10 years. So in other words, prices are not coming down. Even when mortgage rates come down, as they're expected to in 2024, home prices will not come down in any major way. If anything, home prices will probably increase in 2024. And this is why you shouldn't wait because you'll probably pay a higher price. When interest rates become cheaper, people will have more purchasing power and this will bid up the prices of homes. I fully expect to see crazy multiple offer situations again in 2024 when mortgage rates come down. Unfortunately, it'll probably feel like 2021 all over again, which brings me to my third point, 
The third thing you need to know is a specific prediction for 2024. Interest rates will come down, but competition will go up for homes. And this means that it could be harder to buy a house next year than it is this year, even though the rates could be lower. This is because there will be more competition next year. We're already seeing this priced into the adjustable rate mortgage market. Usually you get a better deal in the short term on adjustable rate mortgages, but that's not really true right now. That's because even the mortgage investors know that rates are likely to be lower next year. And this is why the specific strategy I'm recommending is to buy or sell your home this year, lock in today's home price, and then simply wait until next year in 2024 to refinance the mortgage at a lower rate. This gives you the best of both worlds. You can lock in today's home prices before they continue to increase next year. And when interest rates drop, you can refinance into a lower rate. Let me know if you have any questions at all. My cell phone number is 210-232-2340.